know, but we didn't really guard at the level that we're capable of. Uh, so we got to tighten the screws some there, and then uh, when we turn over, we were just a little too sloppy. But uh, you know, usually overcome that with the shot making, which wasn't there tonight. And um, you know, the, the way we play, we're, we're happy to get away. Did you get any early incentives that AD play through the ankle? Obviously, any dialogue there after he uh, tweeted? I'm not getting any, any update on that. Um, what do you think is behind just a couple games in a row with the turnover? Um, I think the defenses have been, you know, you've got to play the other team sometimes. Um, you know, they're going to have to be able to get the team that shot. Uh, that was true in Miami out here tonight. And, um, you know, we just obviously got to space better. It's not always in the back of those you know, decisions. It's the decision making with the turnovers. You know, our, our execution just has to be a little bit better. LeBron was the one guy hitting shots. I think he had four of the five threes, and then just you know, a lot of highlight plays. So what did you see from him tonight trying to hit the crowd? Man, he was spectacular. <laughs> he had some all-time clips, you know, the, the, the drop pass at Dwight. And, um, you know, there was a few of them, you know, but, uh, you know, he was terrific. Obviously, he was, he was probably that. Frank, uh, AD playing through that fall, uh, was that more or less his call? Was he just telling you, hey, I can go, I can play the rest of this game? Or? He said he's good, so we'll leave him in there. Coach, final time you guys will see the Hawks and Vince Carter, 22 seasons in this league. What kind of legacy do you feel he leaves on the NBA? Uh, he's a legend, you know, obviously uh, for what he accomplished in his prime, uh, but to have that type of longevity, you know, and uh, to be a great ambassador for our league, um, you know, he's just uh, well liked, you know, by the entire league and, and fan base and everything. And, uh, uh, it's just impressive what he's been able to accomplish. Frank, you know, you guys obviously you mentioned had some like all time highlight type plays. Do you think you guys highlight hunted at times? Like, was, the, was that sort of the, the consistent, sort of focused effort you want? No, I don't think so. You know, I mean, these guys make, make plays to, to make plays. You know, I don't, I don't think anybody was here that went to. Um, was trying to get away. What do you think made the difference in, in Rondo being so productive tonight in his minutes? Uh, he's been productive all season for us. You know, he missed shots last game uh, in Miami, but um, you know, he, he's been playing terrific basketball for us. You know, right before the, you know, the hamstring setback, which he missed a couple games. Uh, it's a big part of what we're doing. Just as a fan of the game, was there one of LeBron's highlights that you enjoyed the most tonight, whether the, the fake block or one of the dunks? Did Dwight play probably? That yeah. was no, something else. Before the game, you mentioned the LeBron in terms of the buzzer, that you know you kind of put it in his hands. You trust him. Did that with AD? How, how much trust do you have to have in your players? They're sort of like that. How, how much do you trust them to be honest about where they are? Uh, entirely. Oh, you mean physically? Mm -hmm. Yeah, where is yeah, yeah. 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 Just you know, common sense. Really. I know it's been a couple of years, but anything sort of that you do extra to prepare yourself when you're headed to back to Indiana and then back to that building? Nothing different for me. Um, I got to get more tickets for people, but uh, other than that, uh, we've studied their team. They're playing really well and uh, prepare our team to get it done. Frank, Last question, are you, are you guys at the, at the point of the season where you want to be building towards the long term, but if you just take care of a win, can you can you just take care of a win and move on? Is, is that part of this team's personality? Uh, our big thing is we, we, we want to have a growth mindset. You know what I mean? And regardless of whether we win a game or lose a game, you know, we're going to get to work tomorrow. And, um, you know, most likely on the, on the film and try to get better, you know, and try to improve. We didn't play a great game tonight. You know what I mean? If we play that in the next two games, what we did tonight, we'll, we'll leave with a loss. You know, so, um, you know, it doesn't matter whether we win or lose, we won't have a growth mindset.